Okay, everybody, I am back. I am going to do a second video because I was doing my video and I, of course, I don't have a holder for my phone and it fell. So yeah, you fell. So I got to do it again. I am going to do a Dollar Tree haul. It's going to be like five minutes, not even nothing big, but I found some new things. So let me show you and hopefully the phone doesn't fall. So the first thing I got was this big, big container. Sure fresh. It was, this is a nice container. It has a good grip here. Um, I'm not going to use it for like spaghetti or whatever. You can use it for whatever you want. I don't know. I'm going to use it for some ant poison that I bought. And it is uh, ortho fire ant killer mound treatment. And what's the ounces? 5.76. So it's not bad. I bought three of these and I'm going to put mine in this container. Three of them in this container. So I thought that was a good deal. So here's the three. Not that you have to see three because... But I'm going to show it to you. Three. So I bought that. Oh, let me show you the bag real quick that I got. It was the last one they had. Freaking cute. Oh, so summery. Actually, it's for any. I'll use it anytime. Winter, whatever. I'll use it whenever. Beautiful bag. And then I found this little bag next to it. Isn't that the cutest thing? I love these little bags. They're cute to put uh, whatever you want. I put change in it. I always use these. Uh, they do mess up later on, but for $1.25 you can't beat it look two two pockets that's super sweet what else did I get I bought some gold toe I don't know why because I got rid of a whole bunch of winter socks but probably probably because they're all messed up so picked up just one blue pair it doesn't have the normal price on it sometimes they put the regular price but they're aqua colored one pair for the winter I bought didn't I buy two boxes of these where's the other box hold on Oh, I did buy two. I could have sworn I bought two. Now, where's the other one at? Truthfully, unless he didn't get it, I'll have to check. I could have sworn I bought two of these boxes, but maybe I just bought one. Anyway, these are good. I'm going to give these to my little chihuahua. Her little tooth is messed up, so I figured... And she eats like a little bit, so I was like, you know what? Why don't I just get... I thought I bought two boxes, but I'm wrong. So I'm going to check my receipt. So got one of these for her, for her little baby little mouth that she has. Oh, decided to buy this, even though I can't, I don't really like buying these from Dollar Tree because the last time I bought a whole bunch of these, they didn't work. And of course I didn't take them back, but uh, yeah. So this is, this smells really good. It's fresh new day. So I love that. I bought this here to try it out. It kind of is the same color like my L'Oreal um, stuff that I put on my face with my makeup. It's just uh, like a glow serum, I guess. You can mix it with your foundation. I don't do that, but I like putting some on my on my face. And I was like, you know what, let me just try it. If I don't like it, I tried it on my face in my other video, I'm not doing it again. But if I don't like it, I'll just get rid of it. I found this doggone thing, the only one they had, and I forgot to show it in my other video, so. It's one of those popper things. <laughs> Isn't it cute? Yeah, so weird. I'm gonna put it on now, like a little kid. You know what? You don't have to be a little kid to wear it. You can wear what you want. Isn't that cute? Look, oh, love it. I've never seen a bracelet before. Talking about a bracelet, you guys, look at this. Look at my belt. This is a belt bracelet, a, bra a belt buckle bracelet. Uh, I just made it. <laughs> Very simple, you guys. Just with a belt, cut the belt, put a little thing in it, and there it is. Look, it's super cute. Those suckers will probably cost a lot if you look at them at the store. What else did I get? I could have sworn I had two of those. Oh, that's that. Oh, I bought a ball for our puppies, our Rottweiler puppies. I think two more are getting rehomed this weekend. Um, and they're six weeks, but they're darn huge. I mean, they're huge. Anyway, I decided to get them one of these so they can play with it. I mean, they can't really grasp it, which is good, but they can like push it around with their nose, whatever. They have some really cute colors of these balls, you guys, at the Dollar Tree. So check out your Dollar Tree if you want some fun stuff for your kids. They have a lot of cool stuff for, for the summer for the kids. My kids are bigger, so I don't need all that stuff. But I do have puppies, so why not get them some? Uh, I think the last thing I got... Yeah, the last thing I got was this thing here for $5. These are expensive at Walmart. I think they're a little couple dollars more than that, or maybe a few dollars more. But I got the gray one. And it's a six, a six shelf hanging organizer. I was thinking of doing, um, the other day I saw 
uh, do it on a dime. She had an idea where if you get one of these, which I probably won't do it because I don't have, my garage is not big enough to do stuff like that. But she had an idea where you could put like this here and then the containers, not the bigger containers from Dollar Tree, the ones like this, but the smaller ones, they fit in here, she said. And you can put like your summer things in there for your kids or your bathing suits. Of course, you can put your socks. If you have a big enough closet, mine is sort of big, but not really. Um, you can store your bras, your panties, your whatever, your husband's underwear. I don't know. Just knickknacks if you want. But um, so I just got it to maybe put my winter stuff in it. I don't know how that's going to work because um, a lot of my sweaters are pretty big, but they're actually getting in my darn way. Um, but yeah, that's my Dollar Tree haul. And hopefully I don't, this doesn't fall again. So real quick, you guys. So remember when I used to talk about uh, a while back, I was talking about how my, my knee my right leg has been hurting for a long time and it's like really painful well it got really worse you guys a few weeks ago uh, i went to the the doctor uh, my husband's like you need to go because i couldn't even walk like when i would get up to go to the bathroom early in the morning i would have to lift my leg up my right leg with my hands and then put it over the bed and then like it was so painful you guys i was literally like bent over limping so finally went to the doctor um she told me well you're gonna have to get an mri because you know x-rays she did x-rays but the x-rays usually don't tell you a lot uh because they do but they don't get to the tendons or anything like that x-rays are only like for the bones and all that so did that she really didn't see anything much like messed up on there any you know inaccuracies i guess i don't know what the word is so she did give me a couple shots on my bottom uh they're for like um inf inflammation and then like for the pain so it can go away like and it really helped for a couple days i mean look at my um because my leg was so bad also on the bottom back part of it i thought i was gonna get a major cramp that's how bad the pain was it was so bad i thought my leg was like literally gonna burst open <laughs> anyway um i know a little exaggeration maybe but it, I, it was so bad you guys anyway so she gave me some crutches and it helped me i used them for a couple days you know i was like i can't i can't do stuff with crutches and i continued to do my stuff and then uh she sent me to get an mri well my mri came back and they uh they told me um i have a large tear on my meniscus yeah and i'm like what what are you talking about they're like i said i don't even know how i did that they go well a lot of times what happens it's it's wear and tear like from you know from doing stuff i mean i used y'all know if you don't know me you guys i like being outside i like doing outside work I, I i'm constantly unless i'm tired i'll take a nap whatever i'm usually doing stuff like i i just have a hard time like not doing stuff so i was like wait a minute what so that's probably what happened or i might have injured it a long time ago and i didn't realize it you know i mean who knows um so they said yeah you'll probably have to get surgery so here i go thinking oh man what am i gonna do like six to eight weeks out like i i just can't do that you guys i cannot be out for six to eight weeks and um not do anything like what okay besides that right so that's what i was thinking i'm like there's no way there's no way i was already trying to figure out how i'm going how i am going to have an operation and still do things i know it doesn't work that way so talk about pain i got a little pain right now on my leg i have a brace on it um <laughs> so and then i go they send me to the orthopedic I, orthopedic surgeon i think <sighs> well why am i thinking that they have all my like they have my doggone mri which duh they don't right well i didn't think of taking mine so whatever he did x-rays they did x-rays and of course they're like oh yeah He's like, I might, you might have to get an MRI. And I'm thinking, I already took an MRI. Like what? Have my paperwork. Here it is. I'm telling him, well, I have a large tear and I'm in my meniscus. I'm like, he's like, oh, okay. Like, I wish I would have gone to the other doctor that they recommended because for some reason he wasn't there. So I'm like, okay, he was a great doctor. Don't get me wrong. But, um, and then he starts telling me, well, yeah, um, you know he shows me the x-ray this and this is your knee you can see the difference here on your knee whatever uh, but he never talks about the tear on my leg which i'm still bothered about that because he kind of did after i told him what i had because i had my paperwork and he didn't know he, he they did x-rays so he saw where my little bone is deteriorating whatever and it's like the early signs of arthritis whatever right and i'm thinking well yeah but besides that i have a tear a large tear right 
but he starts saying about, oh, well, yeah, if you do the surgery, you know, it's going to be this and this long, and then you have to do therapy. And then, in other words, kind of like, I guess it's good because a lot of times you don't really want to have surgery on, you know, certain limbs or whatever, because it might not, it might not work out good. And then you have to have it again. And then it, it might, what is this? Is that a, oh, I thought that was a, well, it looks like a bump, right? But it's not, it's like, okay, it's my, oh, it's my hair. Oh gosh. Anyway, so, and, and then, you know, I'm like, okay, well, I really don't want surgery anyway. That's not what I want. So basically, yeah, he told me what I wanted to hear, which I should get surgery. But anyway, so he gave me a shot on my knee, you guys, for the first time. Never, never had any shots like that. Like, I'm like, well, you're going to numb it? Yeah, we're going to numb it. Is it going to hurt? No, it's not going to feel bad. Lies, lies and lies, you guys. Let me tell you. It, it hurt for like two seconds when they stuck that little beady needle. You, you, it felt like nothing. It felt like a little ant bite. Okay, that's fine. Let me just tell you. It's when the stuff goes inside your, your freaking leg that I thought somebody was hitting me on the knee with a hammer. <laughs> I'm sorry, you guys. I'm not trying to scare you. But if you had a shot on your knee, my mom's always, my mom's always told me that it really does hurt. And when I told the man that, he goes, well, maybe your mom should come over here. In other words, saying, you know, they're, they're a lot, that they don't hurt as much. I'm like, what the heck? But it, after that, I was like, oh, I was like, did you just hit my bone? He goes, no, I shot in your, in your cartilage. I'm like, oh my gosh, you guys. Anyway, don't get a knee shot. I'm just saying. <laughs> so with all that said, I'm wearing a freaking knee thing and I still get the pain in my leg. Not as bad because I, but I'm thinking... I know for a fact that after they gave me that shot to just for the pain and for the inflammation, that that major pain went away because I had so much pressure on it. Um, so I'm just trying not to overdo it, which my husband's like, you need to quit. You're really overdoing it. Um, but I'm supposed to go back and see him in a few months. And I'm thinking, do I really want to see him? I probably won't. I'm going to see if I can make an, an appointment for another doctor because... I mean, it, it can heal on its own. I know little ones can heal on their, its own, but like I said, he didn't really like, I guess I should have like pushed it more, but I just don't want it where it's going to really like tear a lot more if I don't get the operation. But, you know, I don't really want the operation either because it's a lot of work. Like it's a lot of work on my part and I'm like, oh, and it, it takes away a lot too, but I don't want to have the, to keep wearing this. For like the rest of my life you know what i mean so i don't know anyway i just thought i'd throw that let y'all know what's going on with my leg but that's what's going on with my leg it's got a, a freaking large meniscus tear or a large tear on the meniscus in the back of the knee so anyway um that's it <laughs> that's it you guys i need to go to hb because i've literally been sitting here for probably about 25 minutes now and i gotta go go get some stuff for her for dinner tonight but anyway you guys like i said um thanks again for watching my videos and i don't know if i said it in the other video i've said it before on a lot of my other videos i think a long time ago first of all i'm going to delete a lot of my old old videos from like a long time ago because once in a while i'll get a comment i'm like what is that from i don't remember but i'm not talking about like the most recent ones but like the ones from like seven years ago i think i have some from way back then i'm just going to delete them anyway and also I think I might have mentioned on my other video that I didn't pull, put up. Um, I am not finding some of my videos where I can comment back on some of them. Because I know some things pop up and then when I go back to check on them, I can't find them. So I'm so sorry about that, you guys. But thank you for um, checking out my videos and leaving your comments. And I'm sorry if I can't, if I don't, not can't, but if I don't leave a message on your um on some of the videos because like I said I can't find some of my videos on my phone and then when I go on my computer you know what maybe I'll check on my computer and see if I can find them there because sometimes I don't know there's like other feeds that come up and then they push your not yours they push the, my 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 YouTube videos like way way down on my phone I wonder if I can block the other videos not block them just like take them off my YouTube thing where they pop up okay maybe I can do that anyway 
um, thank you for watching again you guys and then I will talk to you some other time and um, I'll let you know what else is going on with my leg later on okay all right bye